I have been waiting for this one for a while, so I've finally gotten to see the movie The Menu, and I'm going to give you my thoughts and reactions right after the jump. Hello everyone, Terrence here with Hollywood Already Did It. If you haven't already, go ahead, like, share, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, ring that bell below. Anytime we have something, you will be among the first to know. I've been waiting for this film for some time. Since the moment that I first saw the trailer, I was like, I'm, I'm in, I'm hooked. Let me do it. Searchlight has been, even though it's all Disney, Searchlight has been doing those weird, quirky films that feel small, but are so much, there's something to them. There's a little bit more bite than the typical fear that we always get. What was also amazing about the trailer is that I really didn't know what genre we were getting. Um, the trailer lets on that there might be some horror elements, some mystery elements, but it's also very tongue-in-cheek and weak wink Well, I can tell you officially that this is a black comedy, black horror comedy, if you will, but I would say almost more of a black comedy with gore elements to it. I am not going to go into spoilers, but I can kind of give you the concept basically based on what the trailers say, but uh, Taylor, played by Nicholas Holt, and Margot, played by Anya Taylor-Joy, Accompanied by 10 other folks are going to go to this uh, mysterious island to have their palate experience blown apart by this world-renowned chef called Julian, uh, played by <sighs> Ray Fiennes. Um, and that is all I'm going to give you because that's all that sort of the trailer gives you. Um, you don't know what's afoot. It becomes sort of almost like a clue, murder mystery, black horror, black comedy. What makes this movie work and on all cylinders for me, and I, I'm going to say this right off, it's one of my favorite films of the year. Um, the screenplay is insanity. It is fantastic. It keeps you on your toes. It's always moving. Um, it's winking at you well, but not making you feel stupid. It uh, plays with the sensibilities of how we all watch those chef shows and, and Gordon Ramsay and all of that, but it also deals with humanity and how people who have a purpose and felt a purpose may not feel that, that they're they are respected anymore. And now they're kinda of, kinda of giving people their karma or their coming up come up in, if you will. Um, I think the screenplay and the performances together make this a marriage that just is is phenomenal. I also think the direction when you have somebody from the UK, they can kind of do things, they see things about the U.S. that the U.S. doesn't quite see. And so they have a, the director has a very good eye of um, framing everything in a way that is easy to digest, but also just biting. It is funny. It is dark. John Leguizamo, Jenna McTeer from, maybe most recognizable from uh, the Ozarks, and Paul Edelstein from The Practice. Like, they're this cast all fit what it is that they're supposed to be doing well. You got the actor, you got the critic, you got the fanboy, like all of those places are sort of put there together and they're all chosen for reasons. Um, and it just comes together in this, I hate to be cliche, but this perfect marriage of this perfect salad. It's like the palate cleansing type of film from a lot of the stuff that came out this year that sometimes can be the same, this is something that is not the same and I cannot stop smiling from ear to ear. Like it's a movie that I, I'm going to watch again. I can't wait till it comes out on video. I, this is one of those ones where I'm gonna be telling everybody you need to see it. It is exceptionally well done. Um, and it fits that weird, doesn't really have a genre, but tickles my fancy. Like it gets me the weirdness, the oddities, the dark humor that I have. It is very well done. Um, and I don't want to spoil it for anybody because I think this is just an experience that you should have. So I'm being vague. But on my scale of play it again, Sam, meh, I didn't mind that. Once is enough. Or give me a time stone so I never have to think about this film again. This is a play it again, Sam. This immediately goes, shoots into my top five, maybe my top three films of the year. Great performances. Ray Fiennes is chewing up scenery and he's doing, <laughs> I use that, another tongue-in-cheek term, but he's doing it and he's doing it well. Anya Taylor-Joy is again a delight, but Nicholas Holt, you need, everybody here is necessary and doing their characterization um, so superbly that it all comes together and works. Otherwise, if one of them was off, this would sort of fall apart. So nobody feels like they're hamming it in or throwing it in. So if you love those murder mysteries, kind of like um, 
like the clues or the murder or Orient Express, but then to subvert all of the thoughts that those do and kind of come up with something new. Chef's kiss, if you will. What did you guys think? If you've seen the menu, go ahead and leave your thoughts and comments in the comments below. If you haven't already, you can follow us on Twitter at Hollywood ADI. You can hit us up on email at HollywoodAlreadyDidIt at gmail.com. We also have a podcast with the same name that's on Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, anywhere that plays podcasts. We're there. And like always, I got my ticket. You got yours. Thank you.